guy friend of mine called me, right? Okay. And he's, he was livid because his girlfriend received a gift from her ex. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's not for anything but just to say thank you for making me a better man uh, whilst we were dating and stuff like that. You know, just a little talking of whatever. They've been broken up for like two years now, but okay. he sent her All a, of a, a gift of a car, you know, a, a gift in the form of a car. A car? Yes. Okay, that's a bit extreme. And, 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 and you know, like, you know in, at first I thought, well, there's something yeah. wrong with that, you know, but now yeah. I'm thinking, well, I don't know. Can I have your glass? Please? Well, it's a car. You have is a problem with a car? Is it because it's a yeah, car? Yeah, because you because see, it's, a, it's too, it's too in your face. You know, it's, it's a huge gift. Yeah. No, but he, but but he's saying, but he's saying thank you. After two years, he just pops up from out of nowhere and says, "Thank you. Take this car." He just didn't like pop that. up. I don't there think he go. popped up from nowhere. Thank you. It means he's been in the shadows. Yeah, but he's just a friend. Okay. What, Look, well, I, think, I think a car is too much mass mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's too much of a reminder. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and you don't want to be going there. You know, you don't yeah. want to be rubbing it in someone else's face. So what is okay? So, I, forget, you know, well, to gift your ex-girlfriend. Well, something, um, something that vanishes a bit early. You yeah. Know, uh, the consumable stuff. Consumable you know, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that you can... You stuff remember, like, but you can forget. Yeah, well, I think stuff like again, that. Will, I think stuff like that will do for me. I mm. mean, you know, but a car is too much. I mean, I mean, you're, so what? You're going to be driving. It's a good place. It's, it's a gift. And she's no, married. So, so that my friend is dating, she's dating. Uh, this lady, and he is married. And my friend is dating her. They're looking to get married soon. Mm. So well, he calls to them, me to them getting married. <laughs> 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 just, just there we no, go. But he, but he, uh -huh. You know, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm torn because I'm thinking mm. it's not a big deal, really. They're not mm. together. The guy has moved on. You know, but that's they dated before. They once shared something. So if he feels that he needed to give her a gift and it's in the form of a car, I mean, I think your problem is because it's a car. Yes. So what would be the ideal gift to give to your ex girlfriend? Well. Like, like I'm saying, it, it, it all depends on um, how close they are, how close they still are, mm -hmm. right? And whether she's dating, whether she's married, all those factors come into play, mm -hmm. you know? If you know the girl is married or she's dating seriously and you're giving her a car, what is the boy going to think? Oh, I've so not if been she able was to single, give her then it's car. fine. Yeah, if she was single, it's fine. Oh, okay. I've not been able to give her a car and you show up from nowhere and give her a car, so... All these things count. What makes it fine because she's single? Like, I mean, it's the same thing. No, the tendency not. of you it's guys, not. you getting back together is quite... Okay, so, so I'll tell you something. Mm -hmm. First of all, this is supposed to be showing appreciation, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, well, you had how many years while you were together to show appreciation? And now you're coming back. Well, maybe at the time, back. things were not that great. Okay, so, well, so the guy sat back. And he's thinking, okay, well, I mean, this is the time when I want to show appreciation. But mm -hmm. you see, the other thing you should also consider, like you said, is the relationship, whether or not your ex has moved on. Mm -hmm. And if she's moved on, you need to give her the respect. Mm -hmm. You know, you, th you need to respect her space because for all you know, exactly. the, the, the size of that presence or the, um, the, uh, the value, and I'm saying monetary value here because everyone has a different way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Some people it's the, the monetary value. Uh -huh. For some people, it's some of the very simple things that make the biggest impressions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for this person, maybe the monetary value makes a very big impression. Then she starts thinking, well, it probably may not have been a, an exactly a good idea for me to, to move, on. move on. So maybe I can rethink, especially yeah. at this time when we're not really, we haven't you know, sealed it off. Mm -hmm. you know? mm. yeah. yeah, but yeah. I mean, it, I, that, isn't that a bit too fickle? I mean, if you ask me. It's not fickle. It's, it's mm -hmm. serious business here, sweetheart. But the thing... Mm -hmm. well, Listen, mm -hmm. you see, we always downplay the effect of that um, emotional attachment that you have with But they've been broken up for over two years. Okay, he's so have married. you asked yourself... Yeah, he's mm -hmm. married. Have you asked yourself how much of the moving on thing they've done with each other? I mean, mm -hmm. on both sides. Mm -hmm. Has the guy moved on? Has he flushed her out of his system mm -hmm. as much as possible. Did he have she closure? Done the same? Mm. You know, you ask yourself all of these questions. I mean, what's the level of communication like? Mm -hmm. Is it very, very frequent? 
Is there a possibility that anytime she's sad, she turns to the ex instead to right. say, oh, this happened and that happened? And you know, yeah. you know the ladies, I mean, um, you, you'd gravitate more towards mm -hmm. people who listen to you more mm -hmm. and those who provide the mm -hmm. smooth shoulder for you to lay the head on. When yeah. You, uh, yeah. So would so you take a gift from your ex-girlfriend under the circumstances? For instance, if you've done so much for her, and she's showing a position uh, this time around, and she says, "You know what, Nathaniel? Hey, you know, I, I this things are great, and here's a car." Okay, you hold it there. I will. It has to be discussed. I mean, this is, and you have to come. You see, you have to come clean, mm -hmm. Jocelyn. You have to come clean, mm -hmm. and you have to tell your fiance or whoever it is mm -hmm. that look, this is the situation. My immediate past ex has given me a car as a present. What do you think about it? How do you feel about it? If she's not fine with it. Yeah. You, you return a gift? I mean, why would you return a gift? Would you return a gift like that, Nathaniel? Yes, I will. If, if, it, if, if that gift is a symbol of a threat, it poses a threat to the, the growth of my relationship. What makes, it, what makes it a threat? So, so at this point, hold on. At this point, you're making this calculation. You're asking yourself if you want to receive the gift and forget about whatever effect it has, mm -hmm. whatever ripple effect it has, mm -hmm. or... You do your considerations, look at both sides and the effect that it's going to have, mm -hmm. and do the rather uncomfortable thing because, it, because it's very, very, look, it's a, I mean, I've had a gift return before, but the circumstances were different, mm -hmm. you understand me? And um, it had to do with a regulation in an office that they didn't receive, but uh, otherwise the person would have received the gift, okay? So you're looking at... Um, you know what, what you what you what you tend to lose mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you pick the gift. So mm -hmm. if you feel that the gift gives you more value and it makes you more fulfilled, and it places it has a better place in your life than your relationship, then go for the car and forget about your relationship. Yeah, because but not trust every me, but I'm telling you, not every gift comes with any strength. Some gifts are just it's just a car. I'll tell you what, yes, Justin. That's why I was saying. That's why I mentioned earlier that you need to discuss it, and you need to come clean. Because, you see, for crying out loud, somebody could just frame up a story and say, oh, um, I got a loan from my office. Maybe your, your partner hasn't gotten that deep into your life to, to appreciate maybe your salary levels, the kind of credit you, you're, you're, entitled yeah, that you're entitled to and that is available to you, the kinds of friends you have, mm -hmm. and how it probably is very easy for one of them to just throw a car key at you. Hey, Charlie, this is for, mm -hmm. you know, for your birthday or mm -hmm. something. You know, maybe the person doesn't. So, if depending on the kind of person you are, you can decide to tell one big lie and say, "Okay, so this yeah, is." Yeah, but a, she did not tell yeah. one big lie. She was quite honest about it, and she said, "Look, my ex got me this." Yeah. Well, so, for the times so, we shared in the past, and this is a way to say. Let me tell you, and, I, and I'll tell you something. Thomas can tell you something about us men and our egos. Tell me. You see, something. There's something with the way our egos are bruised, and the way yeah. it affects the way we relate with our partners. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean. Definitely, that kind of a present is going to bruise the, the other man's ego. Nine out of ten. H hello, guys. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, that's true. okay. Let's forget about the car. What if you you met a girl and her ex bought her a house, the house that she's living in? Would you go in there to visit her? Okay. Well, well, why not? I mean, that's where she's living, right? But that somebody else bought her the house. What if you you move in? I mean, no, I have no, a scenario no, I will move know, in, where though. my friend's boyfriend moved into. The house that her ex had given her. No, when did when did when did he give her that house? Before he met her, before your friend met her. Yeah, before my friend met her. Okay, when, so he there's a little in. difference here because okay, what, what this was it's, it's, it's a little before. Standards. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah. It's not. It's pretty similar. Mm -hmm. Okay, because yeah. at the end of the day, the effect could be the same. Yeah. Because look, a house is a house for crying out loud. This is permanent. You know, um, I mean, it's way more permanent than. Yeah. than that a car is, okay? Um, so there is a big symbol. It, it, it's in your face every time. I mean, this is the place where you lay your head. This is the place where you come back to after every activity during the day. So it, it, it's, it's taken a very big block in your total picture. You understand me? So mm -hmm. there is a problem there. So you wouldn't go there. Okay. You wouldn't stay there. You see, no, you, no, okay. you, you can't stay there. I mean... It's just wrong. It's but just, you don't it's have just your own place, and she has her own place, and you guys are together. It doesn't really matter. Who That's why I uh, talk about the man's psyche and the man's ego, okay. the alter ego. All of these things come together 
uh, to form the way the man, the man behaves and the man relates to others, especially um, the opposite sex, and in this case, someone he's in a relationship with. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are certain, and especially in this side of the world where, I mean, you're brought up with the, you know, that you are, you're given that indoctrination that the man is supposed to be the man, the one who goes to fight to, to provide the bread. I mean, and this is proverbial bread. And proverbial bread could mean a house, the car, the whatever, that, the financial muscle, now. and all of it. You know what yes, I'm so, yeah. so, so, um, you move into a house that has been bought by another, another man. man. Hey, you know, no every other day when you walk no into way. that house, there's, there's something that will always, you know, click and something, and especially in the days of conflict, okay? They, they, yeah, that's that's in days, but, but she's moved on. Yes, She's but you see, but, but you see, in days of conflict, that can be used against you. How is that going to be used against you? Oh, okay. We all very know simple, how, we all very know easy. How girls can be, yes, you know. yeah. very, very easy. You don't know. Okay, can Thomas, you, can let, you just let, come? Let, let should just, should just say, you, can you, can you, you just come and pick your things and go? Wait, you. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you picked your phone to call your ex? I don't are you still in touch with your ex? Well, they are all my friends still. And your present girlfriend is okay with that? Um. Well. It doesn't come up. Maybe I don't. Because you're it, hiding it from. I'm not from hiding. Mm -hmm. I'm not hiding it, right? But we are cool. I'm cool with my exes. I won't go visiting them. I won't go um, showing up at their house. I won't go talking about them with my with my current girlfriend and and say, hey, um, oh, I went to Sunso's -so house and she and I were doing this or that. So, so it's not going to come up. Stuck. And you know you are you are her lifeline because she's your ex and you're in a mm -hmm. current relationship. You will not smite her. No, I would, right? But I'm saying it, it, it hasn't come up. That conversation hasn't come up. Um, we we're not we're not so close in each other's face or in each other's life so much that it has to be an issue. Mm -hmm.